Barbie's Gallery. As always, if you're new here, welcome, and if you see my other videos, welcome back. So today, I'm going to be starting a series all about braces. Braces are not fun, and my experience with braces has definitely improved after I learned a bunch of different tips and tricks, and so I'm going to pass some that I've learned on to you so that hopefully your braces experience can be a little bit better than mine was. So today, this episode is all about getting your braces on and the days and about like a week or so afterwards what's gonna happen and I'm gonna start by telling you guys a little bit about my experience but if your experience is different I want you to please comment that down below so that I can see what yours was like and of course at the end of this video if you have any other questions that I did not address about the day you get your braces on and the week after please comment them down below and I will respond as quickly as I can so stay to the end to see some tips and tricks for the day that you get your braces on and the week after. So I'll just start off by telling you guys a little bit about what happened the day I went to get my braces on. So I went into the orthodontist's office and I went back to the waiting room. They called me in and they laid me down the chair and they told me basically what was going to happen. Now if you're orthodontist, isn't doesn't tell you what's gonna happen. I hope this video can make it a little bit clearer um, because it can be kinda scary when you don't really know what's going on. I got lucky because my orthodontist explained to me what was going to happen so this was kind of what happened. So they take these little square metal pieces called brackets and they stick them onto the teeth that they need to fix. So of course I have top and bottom braces so they put them on top and bottom teeth but you might just be getting top braces so they'll put them on the top or bottom braces so they'll just put them on the bottom but for me it was all the teeth so they're basically like stickers they stick them onto the teeth that need to be moved and basically they kinda have to push hard so it can be a little uncomfortable but I don't really remember it being very painful because it was a little over a year ago that I got mine on so of course I don't remember all the details but I don't really remember that being kinda painful but that might be uncomfortable so then after those are all on they're gonna take a wire and they're gonna they are they held it up to my mouth to see if it would like fit and then they clip the edges so that it will fit and then they basically take this little metal thing push it onto my brackets and then like clamp press the wire into each bracket and you'll hear like a click sound when it's like in there and that can be a little bit uncomfortable because they're having to like put a lot of pressure on each of those teeth mm -hmm. and I promise I'm not sure. that was scary <laughs> I promise though when you hear that click that's not your teeth breaking that is the wire being pushed into that bracket and it that can get a little painful but it's not not horrible so they're going to do that to all the brackets, so for me they had to do a wire on the top and a wire on the bottom, but again if it, you just have top or bottom braces they'll just do it on the top or bottom. So then after that they do these things called tie backs. Um, I'm not sure if everybody does this but I know my orthodontist does. It's like a little metal like string almost, but it's very like, I mean it's metal so it's thicker than string but they kind of loop it like through the end of the wire and then they take this metal tool and they like spin the wire so that it like really tight and I think the purpose of this is to keep the wire in but I'm not exactly sure so if you know comment down below because I'm not really sure so they spin that wire and then they clip it so that it's short and then they kind of tuck it back in there so that um, hopefully you can't feel it. Sometimes you can feel it but we'll, we'll get into what to do if you can feel it towards the end of the video. So they'll do that on both sides. Usually for me they just do the bottom wire with tie backs. The top wire, I don't think, maybe I have tie backs on it but I don't know, I could be wrong. I think it's just the bottom though. Um, so after I got all that done, of course, there was probably other stuff that happened, but that's the main things that happened to me. They had the head orthodontist come check it out and make sure that it was, like, a good job, and since it was, they were like, okay, um, the lady who, like, did the, put the braces on you is going to, like, give you all this stuff and tell you how to, like, like, treat your braces and how to work with them. And so I went back to the waiting room and I got my mom and I showed her my braces which was a little scary because I was really nervous about how she would react but she thought they were cute and so we went back 
um, into the like orthodontist area and they gave us this little bag with a bunch of braces care items which I will show you in a different video but um, they told me how to treat my braces different things that I have to do to keep my teeth clean and um, yeah so that day I got my braces and I mean it was kind of painful but that day it didn't hurt too bad so then that um that day that you get your braces on that um some things that you I would definitely recommend doing after you get your braces on is to rest because your mouth chances are your mouth is going to be hurting and if it's not hurting it might just be a little uncomfortable because there's metal wires pulling on your teeth so I would definitely recommend to rest maybe take a nap or just watch TV um but then another really good thing to do is ice your jaw because for me my teeth hurt a lot but it's also my jaw that hurts a lot when I get my braces tightened when I got them on so there's this special ice pack that I use and I can show you that at the end but it really helps when I ice my jaw because it's kind of flexible and I can show you that at the end but that is like my saving grace but I think regular ice packs would work too so then you're gonna wanna ice your mouth a lot and then just another thing is brushing your teeth that night it's it's gonna hurt I remember that night that I got my braces on brushing my teeth standing at the bathroom counter with tears streaming down my face while I tried to brush my teeth and so looking back on it now it seems kind of funny but like I was in like a lot of pain um so if you don't like want to brush your teeth that night like I don't blame you like if your parents are gonna make you brush your teeth then maybe just do it for like a shorter amount of time or do it very lightly but like if you want to skip brushing your teeth like I don't blame you it's very painful um, and then, I'm really sorry to say, but the second day of braces, for me, is always, always worse. After getting them tightened, after getting them on, it's always worse because I think that pain is starting to set in and your teeth are starting to actually move with the wire. So that is just not very fun. The second day is always worse for me, but of course, like do ice, like take ibuprofen if you can. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do, like if you look up, like teeth remedy stuff um, but I'll do another video on things that I've like little like products and stuff that I use when my teeth hurt and to clean my teeth and stuff but that will be in a separate video so now since I've covered everything that happened at least for me on the first and second days I'm gonna give you some of the tips and tricks that I use like the day that I get my braces on especially but I also use them when I get my braces tightened too because it has to happen about every like three months or so but it depends on the braces that you have so my first tip is to take ibuprofen or Advil or Tylenol before you go to the orthodontist office of course if you're not allowed to take medicine then obviously don't but that really helps me. I usually take my um, ibuprofen before I go in and that definitely helps with the pain so that it's not too bad while they're actually putting in the braces and usually once it wears off then I take like um, a set of minifin or ibuprofen again um, but yeah definitely take something before if you're allowed to um, and then another tip is um to bring something to do in the waiting room because those are the dons they'll try to get you in as fast as they can but I mean braces are no joke like it might take a long time so um bring something to do whether it's your phone a book your homework a game just something because chances are you're gonna have to be waiting in there for 15 minutes or longer I've been in there for like 45 minutes a couple times and I remember once I got pulled out of school to go to the orthodontist and of course my phone had to be in my locker so I didn't take it and I remember sitting in the waiting room for like half an hour with like four other people who all had something to do and I was just sitting there and it was so boring so definitely if you can take something to do with you like even if it's like that day's homework like I have always wanted to do my homework in the waiting room but it never like the timing never works out for me um so then my last uh no not my last tip my second to last tip is to take a picture of your teeth before you go in to get your braces on 
I remember sitting in the waiting room, I took a bunch of selfies of my teeth, and then when you get out from getting your braces on, take some more selfies, and then you can show your friends, like, hey, look, this is what I looked like 20 minutes ago, and this is what I look like now. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of a fun thing to do, to also, like, remember, because, of course, when I, I can probably put in a picture of before I got my braces, my front teeth were, like, crisscrossed. So it was, like, obviously you can see now, they're straight, but, um, it's kind of, it's really crazy how fast they work, because I remember taking a picture before and after, and it's, like, almost an immediate difference, because they start moving your teeth right away. So, that's pr a pretty fun thing to do. Um, and then my last tip, this is, like, probably the most important tip that I really want you to take away from this video, is if something hurts, tell them. Tell the orthodontist, because chances are they'll try to fix it, or they can do something different to make it not hurt as much. Of course, there are some things, like when they have to push in the wire, they have to push really hard to get that in, so there's not much they can do for that, but when I'm sitting in that chair and if something hurts, I make you make like a little sound or you like raise your hand or something, and they will like take that into account and they'll try to um, do it either if it's something that is going to be painful no matter what they'll try to do it quicker or if it's something that they can adjust to make it less painful then they will definitely do that because they are like even if it doesn't seem like it they're like working to help you like they're trying to help you so if something hurts definitely tell them so during while they're putting stuff on definitely tell them and also afterwards after they are all done with your braces Move your tongue through your mouth and feel if there's anything poking your mouth or anything because chances are, if you don't say anything, you're going to have to be sitting with stuff poking your cheeks for three months. And that is not fun because I've been in that place before and it's, oh, it's not fun. So tell them if something hurts and if there's like a wire sticking out, they can like bend it back. Like, just tell them. Like, don't be like embarrassed or not want to say anything. Tell them because... It'll be a lot worse if you don't. So those are my tips and tricks and what happened to me on the day that I got braces and the few days and weeks after. And I know it's going to hurt for a while. It hurt for me for like two weeks after I got my braces on. And it's just really not fun. So I'm really hoping that this video helps you guys get through that. And yeah, comment down below if you have any other unanswered questions about when you get your braces on in the first like two weeks or week or whatever. Um, but I really hope this video helps you guys. And as always, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and real quick, this is what the ice pack looks like. And yes, it does look like those vintage like retro ones you see in the movies, but... It works so well for me because you just twist it off this top, put the ice in, and then it's really flexible too. And it's so nice because you can feel the coldness, but it's not like pressed right up to your mouth. And you can like move it around your jaw and your mouth, and it helps me so much. So um, I'm probably I could probably link this to where my mom got them, but they are very helpful, and I would definitely recommend buying them for when you have braces pain. So yeah, here's a picture of me before I had braces. <laughs>